Hey Taurus, welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. So this is your February monthly reading. Um, and wanted to go ahead and pull energy for the overall month. Actions, advice, possible obstacles, what's going on with money, love, career, and then, you know, things that we need to be watchful for in our communication zone. And then um, a card for each week of the month. So first and foremost, um, we're going to be in Mercury retrograde. So just FYI, um, we all usually know what that means. If you guys haven't downloaded the digital calendar, it gives you um, insights for the entire year around Mercury retrogrades and then also all the moon cycles, right? So um, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you are first to know when new videos launch. So let's get into it. I've already shuffled and, and cleansed my cards offline just to save a little bit of time, okay? The Oracle card that we got for you guys um, is by the book. You know, Taurus, I, I really feel like this fits the vibe for this month for you in general is that, you know, you're not doing anything super crazy. You're kind of keeping your head down. You're focused. You're you know, just staying in your own lane, focusing on you, which is great. Tauruses, you guys usually do that anyway, so um, kind of normal energy for you. Um, but definitely, you're just you're 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 building a path for you know your future. You're not really worried about all the you know ups and downs and drama in the outer world, or you know even in maybe your inner circle. You're just kind of focused on what you need to work on, and 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 that's great. So. Overall energy of the month, you got some lovely cards, Taurus, I have to say. Um, I have Taurus um, as my rising sign. You got Ten of Cups for overall energy. I really feel this month for you guys, really happy, you know, overall, um, a lot of joy, especially at home. You know, things are, are ironing out, you know, communication's good. You guys are in a partnership, relationship's going really solid. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're family, kids are doing good, you know, overall everything you really can't complain, which is a great, um, great energy to have for this month. Actions, advice, King of Cups, I would say, you know, if anything, this is probably just something, Taurus, because you are probably pretty focused on, 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 um, you know, projects or your goals or, you know, achievements. I would just say, be careful, um, that maybe you're coming off a little too stoic, that maybe people, you know, might need to see the, the lighter side of you, Taurus. And it's not that you're, you know, upset or angry or frustrated or stressed probably. It's just more that you're just focused and you're kind of probably not aware of how you're coming off. So if anything, I would just say keep that in mind. Um, but this is also reminding you that, you know, to do what you love. You know, if you're going to put a lot of time and effort into something, do what you want to do, do what makes you happy, okay? Obstacles. This is actually not an obstacle this month. You have the Sun card. Fabulous energy, Taurus. All I got to tell you is that if anyone tries to, to dampen your shine or, you know, that you're just, you're riding this wave, you know, this high. And, and if anyone tries to make you feel bad or, you know, put their problems on you, I would say that's probably the only obstacle that you might face. And sometimes when, you know, a lot of things get drawn to the light. So I see this month is that people might try to, you know, they just might be a little maybe jealous even or, or you know, just try to make you feel, you know, you shouldn't be as excited as you are or happy as you are and, and try, to, try to bring you down. Don't listen to the naysayers, do you? Okay, so for money. You know, you got King of Swords in reverse for money. So one thing I'm going to tell you, Taurus, is that watch your investments this month. And I'm only saying this, today is um, the 27th of January, so not actually in Feb, but... It's, there's a lot going on with the stock market right now with the Robin Hood stuff. So what I'm going to say is that you might start looking at your investments, your money a lot more closely and pull out of things that just really don't, not only maybe you've outgrown certain things in your portfolio, but you just are looking at your money and where it can work for you harder. Not so much where, you know, um, you've taken blind advice, basically. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you is that this is, it's starting to, you're starting to look at outside of traditional ways of making money, um, but even investing money. So, you know, looking at companies where it's, you know, technology, innovation, um, you know, maybe the cannabis industry, you're looking at um, energy companies, things like that, you know, where it's, you know, um, electric vehicles, you're, you're kind of looking outside the box. So I see that you're starting to, to consider putting your money in, in more not non-traditional markets. Okay. Love, 
Taurus, this is interesting because you have a lot of happy cards overall. Um, love, you got three of swords, which is never a good card to get, you know, considering that this is known as the heartbreak card. But I get the impression that for some, for singles especially, you guys are really looking at this month of maybe, you know, you have other things that you're focusing on and, and other priorities that you're putting first. And love is just not the leading thing right now in many of your lives, especially if you're single. Um, it can mean that you're just not ready to go back out there yet. You know, you, there, maybe there's some wounds that you still need to work on and heal. And, you know, again, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you're just kind of still mentally preparing yourself, you know, about relationships and all that. If you're, if you're coupled, I can tell you that this doesn't feel like the cheating situation, even though for some of you certainly could be. This feels, Taurus, I'd be very careful because you, I feel like you have your energy focused on work this month more than anything or your businesses that maybe some of your family members, loved ones might feel that you are, could be a little bit more present and you're not. So this can also mean that your attention and energy is split onto something else. It doesn't always have to be a person. It can be, you know, like work or, or you know, working out or, or things like that where you start to get into a routine, Taurus, where you start to forget sometimes that you need to have more one-on-one -on -one time with loved ones or friends or family. So just keep that in mind, even though for the most part, everyone's really happy, but just that's something to keep, um, you know, in the, in the back of your mind. Career. Seven of Swords in reverse, which I do always like seeing this card in the reverse. You know, Taurus, I'm going to tell you, you you keep doing you at work or career, especially if you work for someone else. I feel like there's always someone or, you know, that's trying to kind of kick you off of your pedestal. Taurus, you're such a hard worker and you're the go-to person. And I think there is either a person or a few people that just do not like that. And they always are trying to kind of undermine you. But the thing is, is that at the end of the day, if you just stay on top of your game, um, focus on what you need to, it's almost like karma is going to take care of them. If you believe in karma, some people don't, but, um, like they're going to be dealt with in their own way in a natural way where you don't even have to get your hands dirty is what I'm getting at. Communication. So Taurus, this is, you got five of cups. So I'm going to say, try not to use words or, you know, things that you're, you're, it's really past tense where you are focusing on things that maybe haven't worked out. Even though those things could have been experiences certainly could have been motivational for you and have gotten you to where you are now. And yes, you're a bigger and better person and stronger person for what you've experienced in the past, but just be kind of, it's almost like don't talk too much about the past because it almost rehashes emotions that you have gotten through and then they just kind of come back out. It's almost like you're creating more unnecessary stress and emotion when you start talking about past things when like you need to move on from it. Okay. So I would just kind of, I hope that makes sense. That's probably confusing, but just kind of be careful about falling back into past habits and, and communication, like just bringing up the past is what I would say be careful of, especially with a loved one. Okay, so um, first card, first week of Feb, you got nine of wands. So look, Taurus, you know, you're so resilient that it, it this is you overcoming adversary. A, a, I'm sorry, a, um, adversary. A, is that? No, is that? That doesn't sound right. Challenges. Let's just use another word. Sorry, Mercury retrograde is already kicking my butt. It's you overcoming challenges and and understanding that I can plow through anything. I know I'm going to accomplish something. I even it doesn't care how long it's going to take me. I'm steadfast. This is you having that confidence moving forward to say, you know what? I'm never going to give up on myself and my goals because ultimately that's what my heart wants, okay? Second week 
And this is interesting that this is right under the Three of star Swords, under that love card. You got the devil in reverse. I, you know, I think this is you also taking accountability for your actions and past relationships and how you see relationships. I, I do think that this is you starting to let go of the need to control everything, Taurus. And, you know, it takes one to know one. I, I have Taurus on my chart. And sometimes we get a little too stuck in our ways. Very, very stubborn energy. Um, sometimes you have to let go and let people do their thing. And if they come back, then it's meant to be. If not, then that's okay. You learned something and you moved on. But this is really asking you to let go of control and, and not having to be in charge of everything. Just be in charge of you and focus on you and everything else will sort itself out. Third week, you got five of swords in reverse. This is a great card to get under the seven of swords as well. This is you just picking your battles. You are not putting your attention or energy into people who don't add value in your life. If there's people who always, you know, stir the pot and start shit, it's like, you know what? I don't even need to pay attention to them. I don't need to give them any air, energy, and that's what you should be doing. Fourth week, you know, you got the three of wands in reverse, and I think the biggest thing that falls under the five of cups, right, that communication piece. I feel like, and what I, I think this makes more sense now, it's almost like be careful of using past tense when you're communicating because what's going to happen is it's going to um, delay your manifestations, okay? So just keep that in mind that you want to use present tense, not so much fall back on the past tense because you're really, become, you're, you're putting more delay in your manifestation, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, this month and overall it looks really good Taurus um, again slow and steady wins a race just keep your head down and do your thing um, make sure you subscribe to this channel also follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post quite a bit there if you're interested in um, membership only content which is exclusive content um, all that stuff is in the description box and if readings and all that stuff is there too so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next month bye